approved. Well, we'd love to have it approved, and hopefully we'll be able to persuade enough people. I hope there are enough minds still open, ready to consider this on its merits, that uh, could be persuaded. And we're going to work very hard, both of us. We'll be on the Hill next week. We look forward to this interaction with the Congress, and we very much hope we can persuade enough people to approve it, of course. Turning now to Iran, the nuclear agreement with Iran is now in the hands of Congress. Tomorrow begins day one of a 60-day review period. The Senate will also begin hearings starting on Thursday. Now, both sides have already made cases for and against the agreement. So what next? Joining us now is Republican Senator Jerry Moran of Kansas. Thank you very much for talking to us, Senator. You know, Congress and the Obama administration are making their case for and against continuing sanctions. Obama and his team believe that we've got to do this because otherwise U.S. sanctions and resolutions will be ignored eventually by other countries. My question to you, is that the right approach? Do we lift sanctions because we're worried about how other countries might perceive us? Julie, thanks for letting me join you. This is probably the most important uh, decision issue that uh, many members of the United States Senate will face during their time uh, in the United States Senate. And I certainly agree uh, with what Senator Secretary Kerry just said, which is I hope that the decision about whether to approve, agree with the agreement will be done on the merits. Uh, and what I'm fearful of is that this will become a political issue in which Democrats find themselves in a position of having to support what I think is a terrible agreement simply because the president happens to be Democrat. I don't oppose it because the president's a Democrat. I oppose it because it's bad for our country. It's bad for our, our national security. And it reduces the stability and peace prospects uh, in that very difficult part of the world called the Middle East. And what's next should be the American people and their elected representatives in Washington, D.C., spending the time not on the politics of this issue, but on the merits to make certain that uh, to reach the right conclusion, whether it's beneficial right. to peace and national security or very harmful. Talk about the dangerous terms of this proposal, because not only do they not enhance our national security, as you just mentioned, but what about verifying accountability from Iran? Where will there be accountability? Well, you know, that's what the sanctions were put in place for, is to, to change the behavior of Iran related to the development of a nuclear weapon. And what we see is the sanctions going away under the agreement, uh, and what should have happened is there's no sanction relief until Iran dismantles their nuclear program. I serve on the banking committee that's responsible for the congressionally mandated sanctions. Our goal was to change the behavior of Iran using the sanctions not to remove the sanctions and hope that Iran does something different. And so uh, the, 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 this agreement is, has been negotiated, agreed to in a way that the benefits come way too soon and the bad behavior can continue. And perhaps most troubling is the ultimate end of arms embargo uh, yeah. and ballistic missile opportunities for Iran as well. You know, this is just, you we're headed in the wrong direction in a, in a way that's so troublesome to the peace and security of the United States and the rest of the world. I'll tell you what else is troubling is Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei who hailed to his people yesterday for demanding death to America and Israel. And in that vicious speech, the leader said that he hopes God will answer these prayers and vows a nuclear deal won't change Iran's support for Palestine and its opposition to America. I mean, this is the kind of rhetoric President Obama feels can be negotiated with? This, we are negotiating with a country that is the leading exporter of terrorism that funds and promotes the death to Americans to, uh, to attack Israel. The rhetoric matches their behavior. This isn't just talk. This isn't just uh, a leader of Iran uh, making a rhetorical uh, set of statements. This is a country that actually practices the things that the leader is saying they will still will continue to do. And I guess that you could argue, I mean, I would make the case that even if this was a perfect agreement, All right. is this a country that you would trust? And the answer to that is absolutely not. Republican Kansas Senator Jerry Moran, thank you very much for talking to us. We appreciate it. Eric. Julie, thanks. Well, Julie, have you heard that?